Good evening. I'm Chris Wallace of Fox News, and I welcome you to the first presidential debate between President Joe Biden and former Vice President Joe Biden. No noise except right now, as we welcome the Democratic nominee, President Biden, and the Democratic nominee, Vice President Biden. Gentlemen, a lot of people have been waiting for this night, so let's get going. My question for both of you is, why should the American people trust you more than your opponent? The question goes to you first, sir. Two minutes uninterrupted. Good luck. What I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand billionaires in America. I mean, trillionaires in America. And what's happening? Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh, President Biden. Thank you, uh, Vice President Biden. Why should Americans right. trust you over your opponent? Number one, I have released all of my tax returns. 22 years. Go look at them. 22 years of my tax return. You have not released a single solitary year of your tax return. What are you hiding? Why are you unwilling? The foreign countries are paying you a lot. And your hotels and all your businesses all around the country, all around the world. And China's building a new road to a new golf course oh, you have yeah, overseas. Yeah, so yeah. what's going Look, on here? I what? told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. I'd be happy to have a driving contest with you. Why don't release your tax return or stop talking about... Think you can do it? I was at eight handicap. Stop talking about eight. golf. I got my handicap, which when I was vice president down to a six. Well, he's yeah. just shush for a minute. But I have, you know, I mean, how, Instead of in a sand trap at his golf course, he should have been negotiating with Nancy Pelosi and the rest of the Democrats and Republicans about what to do about the acts they were passing for billions of dollars to make sure people had the capacity. Those other concerns are real. Thank you, President Biden. I think that the country would be better served if we allowed both people to speak with fewer interruptions. I, I'm appealing to you, sir, to do that. Let's please continue on. Vice President Biden, you like to quote one of your dad's sayings, which is, don't compare me to the alternative. Compare me to the almighty. And in this case, sir, you are the almighty. Why should voters elect you president over your opponent? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Under this president, we become weaker, sicker, poor, more divided what, what, what with regard to being weaker, sicker, the fact is that he, in fact, needs health care. Every single thing you said is a lie. Every single one. You're the sucker. You're the loser. I went to the World War II cemetery, World War I cemetery. I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. And the way you talk about the military, the way you talk about them being losers and just being suckers. My son was in Iraq. He spent a year there. He was not a loser. He was a patriot. And the people left behind okay. there were heroes. We both, we've already been through this. I think the American people would rather hear about more substantial. So do I. Uh, same question to you, President Biden. You have two minutes. I've never heard so much foolishness. I've never heard so much malarkey in my whole life. Look, the fact of the matter is that we're in a situation where, let's take the last point first. I can't think of a single major leader in the world. Brain damage. Just having headaches. That's all it is. Your time is up, sir. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you both for participating in the first of three debates that you have agreed to engage in. Until then, thank you and good night.